hello everyone welcome back to marcus kitchen tv if you're new here you're very welcome guys please just pardon my voice i'm having this cough and kata so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how i make this delicious chicken pepper soup you guys this is the showstopper like the showstopper so if you want to see how i made this stay tuned and keep on watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload my new video. Let's get started. Pepper soup, you'll be needing some chicken and in there I have some hard chicken. So but you can also use any chicken of your choice. So that is just it. And you guys, I love prepping my ingredients behind the scene because I don't love wasting lots of time in the kitchen. So just adding the chicken and my chicken has lots of eggs guys so i love the chicken eggs so i'm just adding a few chicken eggs and in there i just roughly blended some peppers ginger garlic and some onions so just add them in add pepper to your preference guys me i love pepper because it's been raining for a week now and i needed something like this guys so just adding your pepper adding two seasoning cubes then adding some salt stir this together properly like stir it very well so all the pepper and the chicken will marinate very well guys or we get married very well <laughs> you guys so when you're done with that allow this to cook for 10 minutes allow the chicken to release his own juice guys so that is just what we are trying to do here and you guys i don't need to tell you this tasted so good i even ate two plates from this so just cover it up and let it to cook for 10 minutes so we'll be back in 10 minutes time the reason why i roughly blended the peppers is that i needed a little pop of colors to the pepper soup so that is just it and it's 10 minutes already can you guys see we did not add any water but the chicken released lots of water already so just adding some water guys when you are done adding in the water just stir this for a couple of seconds cover it up to cook for some minutes before adding in your pepper soup spice so guys it's been cooking for roughly two minutes so it's time for me now to add in my pepper soup spice so i have some pepper soup spice there just add them in add in some crayfish and just stir this together and allow this to boil guys allow this to boil for roughly 15 minutes This chicken has been boiling for past 15 minutes so let's check it out. Just check your chicken if, if it's properly cooked then taste for salt and seasoning cube. If the salt is not enough just feel free to adjust them now. And when you are done with that add in lots of water then add in your starchy food. Just add in your plantain, yam, potato. You can also use anything for this pepper soup. So. I'll be adding in my plantains, just give them one more stir, like so. Just allow the plantain to cook properly. You don't have to allow your plantain to be overcooked, guys, because it might just thicken up the soup, pepper soup. Just allow it to cook properly. So we'll be back in 10 minutes time. So in 10 minutes time, our plantain will be properly cooked, guys. So it's 10 minutes already. Can you guys see oh my goodness this is looking all shades of beauty already you guys <laughs> you guys need to be here to perceive the kind of aroma i'm perceiving around my kitchen like i know my neighbors will say oh my goodness this lady is disturbing us with this delicious pepper soup she's making so just you guys just add in your spinach if you don't have scent you just add in spinach cover this up a lot to for two minutes just two minutes and this pepper soup it's done it doesn't take time guys so our pepper soup it's ready it's looking all shades of beauty already taste for salt it's very important so you guys that is it our pepper soup it's ready like 
so guys this is the final look of my chicken and planting pepper soup you guys it tasted so so good so if you love this video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up share this video to your friends your family and your loved ones and please do not forget to leave your comments and suggestion in the comment section below